tablets. College counselor Jill Maddenberg joins us now with what students and parents should know. Jill, good morning to you. Welcome to GMA. Good morning. Nice to be here. Thanks. Likewise. All right. Uh, Jill, what are, what are the biggest differences here? Okay, you've got this digital test and then the one that Janae and I took, right, with the pencil and the whole thing. What are the differences? So the, the biggest and exciting takeaway is that the test is significantly shorter. It's about an hour shorter than the original. The scores come back way faster. It used to be that students had to wait weeks, and now it's only days. Students can also use a calculator for any question that they want and on the math sections. I think the thing that is causing some anxiety, though, is that the test is what's called an adaptive test. And, and tell me a little bit about how students should prepare for this, because i got to be honest, I'm feeling a little envious here, Jill, <laughs> that it's an hour shorter. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, the, the thing is that with adaptive testing, the exam is going to change in real time, okay? So students, you know, if you're doing well, you're going to get harder questions. If you're not doing as well, you're going to get easier questions. So the first thing is you want to maximize your time, right, because it is a faster test. You want to be very familiar with the Desmos graphing calculator because College Board has baked in to the exam a calculator that is very similar. So you want to be very familiar and you want to prepare, right? Just like you, we did back in the day with the paper test, you want to be well prepared. And Khan Academy offers free testing, free skills and drills for any student that wants it for this digital platform. And so they're really like keyed into it and they can help you. What I think that students wanna do is be mentally prepared, right? Like, because you wanna go into this test with as much focus as possible. Well, and you mentioned that adaptive testing, and I think that that's gonna be a lot really concerning for a lot of people, and certainly it's gonna cause a lot of debate. What kind of advice, what additional advice do you have for students who are worried about that adaptive part of it? So I want you to stay focused and I want students to remember everybody's in the same boat, right? Focus on the question that's right in front of you and do your best. Students of this generation are very used to all things technology, so try not to think ahead. As a former high school guidance counselor, I know that one test does not define a student and it doesn't replace four years of high school. So you wanna go into this test mentally prepared.